What's going on, everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap up. Saw Us yesterday, and man, let me tell you, another good movie by Jordan Peele. This movie stars Lupita Nyongo, Winston Duke, and two child actors that I've never seen before who play their kids, and they are attacked by their doppelgangers. And this movie, and then, you know, throughout the movie, they're wondering, you know, why are they doing this? What's the deal? And, and in that movie, it does, and it does explain that. And because when I first saw the trailer, I was thinking like, okay, why do these people look exactly like them? I'm thinking maybe it's just like something with clones or something like that. But yet it looked good. And then I and I definitely wanted to see it since it was a Jordan Peele movie. And not trying to compare much to Get Out, but I would have to say that I enjoyed Get Out because, you know, this is a Jordan Peele movie and this is his second this is his second movie that he made and I would have to say that, you know, I do think he should continue to make horror movies. And the and so this movie and in this movie, what I did like about this movie was that it's I mean it's considered a horror movie, but to me I didn't think it was scary. Scary to the characters, of course, but I look at it more as like a thriller, suspense type of movie. And what I and with since it since since I look at it as that, I also liked how he was able to combine both both horror, thriller, suspense, and even a little spark of comedy because Winston Duke, I mean, I've never, I haven't really, I don't think I've never seen anything else with Winston Duke in it besides Black Panther and Avengers Infinity War, but I do think that with his character, he was being serious and then also had, had a few jokes in it too. I mean, the whole family, they had, they, they, I mean, like they said some funny stuff too, but Winston Duke, I think, did most of, was the one with most of the jokes and at the same, but at the same time, he was he was like that, right back to being serious. And the movie itself was like that too. And that's what I did like about it, because it seemed like it was just timed so well. And it was and it was like you know focusing more on it, like hey, you know, okay, this is not a comedy. This is more of this is more of a horror. So we're gonna keep it like that. And Lupita Nyong'o, I mean, I mean, this woman is an Oscar winner. She her move. I've seen some movies with her in it. And her movies, and her movies are good. And this is another good movie. This movie is definitely one of the best movies of 2019. And definitely one of the best horror movies. And and this movie, not to mention, this movie also had earned 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Another Jordan Peele movie to get a to get 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. And that's just pretty damn good. That's just damn excellent. And, you, and as far as for Oscars-wise... I honestly want to say that I don't think any of the actors are going to win, are going to win an Oscar for this. However, I do think that I do think that this movie, this movie could, this movie could probably get Best Picture. If it's, I mean, if I was to put it in any in, in any Oscar category, or I could also even put it in Best and Best Screenplay too, Original Screenplay. I mean, Get Out won Best Original Screenplay. So they may even put you even put us in that category, but I could probably see us winning, winning like getting nominated for for best picture and even winning it, you know, you know because it was a good movie, and and I do think that also I do think also with 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 how the way that the movie with with the way how the movie had went on and how the way and how the way how the, how it ended. I mean, I don't want to spoil nothing because that's not what I do. But how the way it ended, I would like to see a sequel to this movie. This movie is definitely not boring. It's definitely a movie that you do need to pay attention to. And when I mean pay attention, I'm talking about do not fall asleep at all. Do not doze off. Don't be on your phone on social media while while looking at this. You really need to pay attention to this movie because you if you fall asleep or get sidetracked and then pay back attention, then you will then you will be kind of lost, you know almost pretty much to where like you may have to almost see it again or have to ask somebody to tell you that that okay what did I miss or what's going on and I do think that Jordan Peele Jordan Peele should definitely keep on doing horror movies because he is one of these he, he is one of these new new directors who I think who I think can change the game in in the horror realm and also in the Hollywood industry because I mean even though this is his second movie I do think that, that 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 his directing skills are just amazing. Directing, writing, produced. Since this movie was written, produced, and directed by him, and I do think that I do think that he he can definitely change the game. I mean, there's 
there is, I mean, I mean, supposedly he is supposed to be working on this Candyman reboot. Candyman is my favorite horror movie. And even though I'm not a fan of reboots, since Jordan Peele is working on it, uh, I, I am kind of kind of curious and interested to see what he's going to do with it. And in this movie, though, I do think that like, however, though, I do think they're like, there may have been, there may have been, there may have been some stuff that could have been better explained a little bit, but overall, it was an enjoyable movie. I mean, it didn't suck. So, out of five stars, I give us four out of five stars. Four for its grade, I give, I give us a, I give us a B plus. And because yes, this movie is just really, this movie is just really good. Well, you know what? Instead of a B plus, I give it, I give it an a, a, a minus. I give it an A minus. So if we're giving it a B plus, I give I boost it up to to an A minus actually, because yes, the movie was just so enjoyable and it was definitely and it was definitely worth going to go see. Which now brings me to should you stay should you wait till Redbox to go see it, or should you go to the movies to go see it? Um, definitely go see it. Go to the movies to go see it. I mean, I kind of had did a little hint saying when you're in the, when you're watching it, you know. Well, well, I didn't say in the movies, but I mean definitely go see it yes i mean definitely get get off of your ass and go see this movie right now because it is so, it, it is just so damn good and it's so interesting and it's so creative with the storyline so and i and also and also definitely you know be on the lookout for 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 jordan peele's movies because because yes pay attention to this guy the guy is the guy is creative and um with that being said, this is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap-up, signing off.